If you are struggling with food and you restrict a lot and maybe you have periods of restricting and binging or you feel like your whole life is just consumed around food, this video is for you. I'm going to give you three things that you can start to do and shift in terms of your mindset to free yourself and find peace with food. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Marissa. I am all about helping women heal their relationship with food, find food freedom, rebuild their metabolism after a stint of dieting or years of dieting and also just work on body image work, finding movement that you love, and overall creating a lifestyle that you love. We are done going to the extremes and we are done with the diet. So if you're looking for more content like this and you wanna learn more about how to create a lifestyle that you love and that you thrive in, hit that subscribe button, support the video with a like and a comment, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. So the three things that I wanna share with you today are quite simple, but they're really huge mindset shifts that I think are going to help you a lot. And these are things that I help my clients work through. Number one, is we want to be eating enough every single day. I know this sounds so simple, but when we restrict our food, when we under eat, when we just aren't giving our bodies what it needs, this is when we're gonna have those moments of feeling consumed by food. We're thinking about food all the time. We have crazy cravings. And this is just a survival mechanism. This is because our body doesn't have what it needs. So of course it's gonna signal to our body, like give me more sugar, give me more carbs, give me more food. It's not that you lack discipline, it's that you lack energy and your body doesn't have enough. Making sure you're you're having meals that are satiating, you're feeling energized from them, and you're no longer restricting throughout the day. That's going to be the best way to, over time, have those binging periods dissipate or not feel so consumed by food anymore. Number two is we want to shift the lingo around food. So often the women that I work with or that I speak with, we're often using words like good food, bad food, dirty clean and we're creating this negative notion around food and maybe foods that we love if you're putting things off limits and you're labeling foods as good or bad this is creating a type of mental and physical restriction that once again makes you more fixated around food. a nice stepping stone i find for a lot of my clients is instead of using the words good and bad food because there isn't good or bad foods we want to be using maybe words like more nourishing foods or more nutrient dense and then maybe less nutrient dense but looking at all foods as nourishing in some way because maybe more whole foods are going to be more nutrient dense more nourishing for our internal health but then maybe less nutrient dense foods are going to be more nourishing for our soul and maybe we're craving something maybe we do want to find a little bit of comfort in food and that's okay too so switching that lingo is super powerful our words are incredibly powerful number three this is a very very important one and often the hardest one to do especially if we're used to restricting and not giving our bodies what what it's actually asking us for is unconditional permission to honor your cravings so this means that you're not putting things on a limit in terms of like okay, if i'm craving a cookie i'm only gonna have one cookie and that's it because I can't have more than one. This is creating conditions around that food. And that is often where cravings and those hyper fixations around certain foods comes from. So if you give yourself that unconditional permission to enjoy, honor the craving, and then know that, okay, I can still have this food later if I want. I can still have this food tomorrow. It takes away that scarcity and that urgency around said food. And the example I like to use is because oftentimes this can feel scary, right? It feels like, oh, well, if I just give myself, you know, if I let loose and I don't have any control anymore, am I just going to be eating cookies and burgers for the rest of my life? But what actually happens is like, if you were to give yourself unconditional permission, I'm just going to use cookies in this example, to have the cookies that you want today. And then tomorrow you're still craving the cookies. So you have the cookies that you want. Maybe on that third day, you're actually like, I'm good. And then maybe on the fourth day, you're like, yeah, I want some cookies again. But then that reprograms your mind to know, okay, the cookies aren't going anywhere. I don't have to put them off limits again. And it, it lessens that craving because we're no longer making it this big, scary thing that we can't have. And then when we do go have it, we overindulge. So when you give yourself that unconditional permission, I promise it over time is going to allow you to feel less fixated on that certain food or food in general might feel scary at first, but trust me, this works for all my clients. This is exactly how I got out of the restrictive binge cycle. And I hope this helps you too. Like I said, this is all the content that I'm creating for you guys so that you can break free, heal all the areas that diet culture kind of envelops us with. 
and I want you to feel really supported and empowered. So reach out to me if you have any questions, but otherwise stay nourished and let me know if these helped.